everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video, we're going to talk about seven mistakes that you might be making in your speaking exam in the PD test. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video so that I know that I'm doing a great job. Comment anything below and we'll reply to your queries and your concerns. Also remember that you can use our website milestonestudy.com.au to practice all the necessary practice questions and take a mock test as well. For a free trial, please refer to the video that is linked below in the description. For all other class queries as well, you have our number in the description. Whether you are a beginner or you've already taken your test, one mistake that you might be making is not checking where your mic position is. The best position is just parallel to your chin, not in front of your mouth or your nose or not here under your chin. If it's under your chin, your voice may not be detected or very, you know, it, it feels very soft. Or if it's in front of your mouth, then it could be distorted by the breathing sound, okay? So the right way, the Great position is just here, parallel to your jaw. So next time you attempt your test, make sure it is at the right place. Otherwise, your speaking score may suffer. Trust me, that can be a game changer. Mistake number two is not adjusting your headphone or not adjusting the sound, okay, the volume. Again, the default level or the default sound is too high. At least for me, it's too loud, okay? So I personally like it at level two or level three. So see it for yourself where you like it, but definitely not the default one because it's too loud. Trust me, it's gonna, um, like, you know, it's gonna have thumping sounds and uh, the noise is rather distracting. So especially in the repeat sentence, you want that calmer voice so that you can concentrate more. Therefore, please trust me, you need to adjust your volume before you start your test. Even if it's not adjusted before, you can do it at the moment when the exam is going on. For example, you are taking the first re uh, repeat sentence and you feel it's too loud, you can lower it right there, okay? But that is something I don't prefer. I prefer doing it beforehand, before even your read aloud starts. Now let's see the simulation in the mock test. On the exam day, you will see similar kind of setting where there is a person and they're wearing the headset so that, you know, it's just like an ideal way of wearing your headphone. Um, so in our exam, we must make sure that the mic is right here, okay? So make sure it is there. Otherwise, your volume can be up, low, change, and it can cause problem in your speaking, okay? So trust me, if you want to get 90 by 90, this is the ideal way. You're going to record yourself and uh, listen to your own voice and be be happy about it, okay? If you're not happy about it, just ask the invigilator. They must change it for you or they must see what's going on, okay? What's going um, wrong in your headset if it's not recording your voice properly. The next thing I said was the adjustment of the volume. Uh, the default position in the exam will be the middle, okay? And we'll just drag it down a little bit. Uh, so at, I said level one or two or three. So that means up, uh, around here or here. Okay. Um, obviously, we will listen to it. And again, make sure that we are comfortable and then only move on. So these are the two mistakes. Mistake number three is not speaking immediately when you have to. In some questions like read aloud, uh, describe image, and uh, retail lecture, these three questions get, got the beep tone, whereas repeat sentence and answer short questions, they don't have the beep tone, right? When it, whether there is a beep tone or not, you must start immediately when there is the recording, the word recording shows on the screen, okay? I see multiple times many people wait for the bar, they wait for one bar, two bar, and then they speak. They think and, you know, wander around and then only they speak. That is a mistake. You must speak right when you see the word recording and that's another secret to get 90 by 90. If you don't, that can affect your fluency and therefore you're speaking. Let's see a demo, okay? Now, as you see here, we have got the beginning timer, okay? I'm so sorry if the screen is a bit small for you guys, like the font, um, but uh, this is how the exam will look like. 
and uh, obviously the font will be bigger because there will be big screen. Now, the point is wherever you see beginning in whatever seconds that is your preparation time, as soon as you see the recording word, now that is the time to speak. Do not wait for this blue bar to begin or to run, okay? I'm telling you, if you wait for that blue bar, you're already late. That is mistake number three. So I'm going to show you a demo as to when to speak by doing another question. When countries assess their annual carbon dioxide emissions. So this is it, okay? You start immediately whenever there is a beep tone. That's the thing, okay? Mistake number four is not clicking next immediately. Now, as you know, we have to speak immediately. We also must click next immediately. If you wait for the whole 40 seconds or whatever seconds that is left, that's another mistake, okay? So make sure you speak. And after your last word, you click next immediately. There is another dialog box asking you, are you sure that you wanna click on the next, you wanna go to the next question? Definitely we have to click yes, okay? And that has to be done in less than a second. Can you do it? Try it, okay? If not, then you have to practice because that is again another reason you're getting less marks to get 90 by 90. You must start immediately, you must click next immediately. Just carefully watch when I start and when I click next, okay? YouTube has banned videos that show people how to manufacture or modify guns and their accessories. It had already banned videos linked to the sale of guns and accessories. Many firearms enthusiasts noticed that some of their videos had been removed from the video sharing website and some had their channel suspended. Okay, I still have nine seconds, so relax. My mouse gotta do, gotta be placed at next. YouTube has banned videos that showed people how to manufacture or modify guns and their accessories. It had already banned videos linked to the sale of guns and accessories. Many firearms enthusiasts noticed that some of their videos had been removed from the video sharing website and some had their channel suspended. Uh oh, I just got a call. So that is how quickly you have to move, okay? But I, I'm extremely like, sorry, I got distracted by my call. Okay. Anyway, so that was the point. Mistake number three and mistake number four, which you'll not be doing in your next exam. Speak immediately, click next immediately. Mistake number five is not using the right template or not using the template at all. Now, in 2024, people have been hearing rumors and, you know, friends are talking about templates not working. But trust me, students are still getting their score by using our template. OK, and what is our template? Let me show you that first. So these are all the templates that you need to memorize for your test, but we are here focusing on speaking. So let's talk about describe image and retail lecture templates. The first one, the picture is mainly about, and then also about, also about, also about. I think that's enough. Thank you so much. That is for describe image and for retail lecture, the audio was mainly about, and then put on the words and then use all the keywords that you have. Then I think that's enough. Thank you so much. Okay. So with these two templates, you can get your full score. Not using the right template is a horrible mistake, guys. And especially doubting some templates, doubting the templates that I'm teaching here is another mistake, okay? This template works like magic. So easy, so convenient, and very easy to memorize as well, very easy to pronounce, and just use the keywords and that's all. Now, I'm not against any other templates. You can use other templates that you have been using so far, okay, because templates work. Uh, but just saying that easier template will be, you know, it will take your burden down, okay? It will make you less stressed because we are already stressed in the exam. Number six, mistake number six is comparing your speaking with the other one. Don't say your friend got 90 by doing this, your somebody got 90 by doing this, or they got 60, they got 50, okay? You are speaking, you are a different person. Your friend is a different person, right? So maybe they're doing something else. Their upbringing was different. Their education was different. Their pronunciation is different, accent, you know, so many things, it could be different. The way they are practicing is different, okay? So you cannot compare yourself with the other person. Externally, everyone is doing the same thing, but internally, 
they may not. Yeah. So stop comparing yourself with others. Just remember you have to work hard if you're not getting your desired score. This is the right way to go. Watch other videos on this channel and then get your desired score. If you want, you can take our classes where we take one-on-one -on -one group classes and get your desired score through that too. But the key is yourself. You have to prepare. You have to practice. You have to ace your test. Last but not least, mistake number seven is relying completely on the mock test results. Now, what happens is students take mock tests. For example, they take mock tests from milestonestudy.com.au. They take mock tests from Pearson's website. You know, they pay money and then they expect that whatever they're getting on the mock test is what they'll get in the exam. Now, trust me, guys, exam scenario is different, okay? Mock test, whether it's Pearson mock test, official Pearson mock test, okay, they give you a hint. They give you guidelines, okay, that, okay, this could be your result, but it's not it's not exactly what you get in the exam. It's not the scenario. It's not the environment. So your exam, real exam marks could differ, okay? So I'm telling you, focus on the mistakes that you have made rather than what marks you get, okay? Yes, I said, if you're getting 60 in the website, maybe you are gonna get 70 in the real exam or even 50 in the real exam. It will always be up or down, okay? Um, it's We have tried our best on our website to get closer to the real exam marking, but I cannot guarantee 100% that that is what you're gonna get. So would, whichever website you're using, please, Use your common sense, okay? Check your performance. Get it checked by a tutor, okay? And then only see the analysis. You know, sometimes you're getting on the same website. You're Sometimes you're getting 90 and sometimes you're getting 80 and sometimes you're getting 70. Why? Because each day our performance differs, okay? So what I also suggest is don't keep taking mock tests after mock tests. That is only going to make you robotic, Okay? Rather, focus on practicing. As you see, we've got lots of questions in the practice area. We also got lots of mock tests, but the main focus should be practicing and then correcting your mistakes day after day. Okay, then ultimately you take a mock test. You see, okay, these are my mistakes. I'm going to work on these things. And then you go for your real exam. Don't just rely on the number, okay? Go inside, check your score analysis, and then you see the magic happen. Now, let me show you where you can do that. Uh, before this, I was taking number 60, mock test number 60. And you can see show score, you can see show analysis. Okay, so if you see show score, they will view, they will show you the score. And as I didn't do much of uh, the performance, uh, obviously, I may not have got enough marks here. It's always after 90 when it comes to speaking. Okay. Now, by just doing one or two questions, I've got 18 in the speaking section. So I'm not going to worry much about, oh, I got 18. Wow, I got uh, 10. Oh, no. Okay. Rather, yes, this is a very good start. Okay. I see my result. Okay. But the best thing is to go here and check your sh analysis. So show analysis. Okay. Then go here, click on yes. Okay, so uh, as you witnessed me doing the mock test, I did not perform the first two or three properly, uh, but I went on to the last one and did this one. So show details, okay, go into show details. And then you see what mistakes I did. Why did I get 85? I should have got 90. Okay, now the problem was pronunciation. I got 3.5 there. Now what went wrong? So I said showed instead of show, which I realized that later. I noticed, I tried saying noticed, but the AI just detected it as notice. Now this one here, notice and noticed. So I just uh, deleted the D. I'll check these things, you know, channel and channels, something they did not detect, have and had, had, okay, have, you know, this is a detection, AI detection, right? So somehow AI is telling me to work on these things. But as you see, it's 4.5 by 5, it's not horrible marks, it's 85 by 90, it's not horrible, but something like 32 by 90, I'll be very concerned about this if you are getting this kind of number. 
that's that's not a, a good number. Now you see, I did not say much. It was just fluency math that I got. So let's summarize today's videos. What did we learn? The first thing that you learned was check your mic position and the volume. Okay, the second mistake was volume. The first mistake was the mic. Yeah, that is technical part. Then after that, clicking next immediately and speaking immediately. Whenever the recording starts, you have to speak immediately. You click next as soon as you finish the last word. Four mistakes done. Fifth mistake was not using the right template. As I showed you the template, you can memorize the template or whatever you have already. Please use them and uh, practice. Okay, without practice, if you just go into the exam, you may not perform well. Sixth mistake is comparing yourself with the other person. Okay, your friends, your family, whoever it is, please remember you are different. Okay, your upbringing, your schooling education was different than theirs. You may need to work a little more or a little less than the other person. Seventh mistake, just relying on the mock test, not checking the score analysis, being lazy to check the score analysis. Just checking the number may not be enough. So go inside, check your score analysis, check where, which words you are making mistakes with, okay? Which tasks are your weak points and then improve on that. That's it for today. I'll come with more videos. Subscribe to our channel, Milestone Study, and all of us, all our tutors will be dedicatedly producing content for you and then posting videos as well. Thank you all of you who have already liked this video. If you have not liked it, please go and give us a thumbs up so that it can motivate us to post more videos, to make more videos because it takes effort to be here right in front of you. Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because that's how you will know that we have posted new videos. As of 2024, I'm telling you nothing much has changed except in the writing section. Little bit, not too much, okay, which we'll come up with the next in the next video. It's about essay where you have to write an advantage and a disadvantage and we'll obviously talk about it in the next video. Till then, take care.